you doing? Come here, puppy. What? Good morning. Oh my goodness. Hello. That's my puppy. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh. Wow. We're going to get out on those rocks again this morning. Okay, I'll put on my hiking shoes and we'll get up there. That's my puppy. Oh. Hi everyone, good morning. Hope y'all are doing great today. Goodness gracious. There's obviously smells that he always wants to go to from other dogs. I'm trying not to talk loud. It's only about 8 p.m. And there might still be some people snoozing. Chilly this morning. Got my jacket on. A little chilly, like my toes were getting cold after I woke up this morning. I typically spend a couple of hours reading comments from all of you. Thank you, by the way, for all the comments um, and watching videos. And while I was doing that this morning, like I was getting chilly because it, you know, I think it's, I think the projected low was like 46 last night. So there we are right there. That's our new spot. Nice and flat. Slept really good last night. All right, call me bonkers, but we just moved again. This spot opened up as we were walking around here, and it's big and flat. Normally, a little bit of slant or tilt on the rig doesn't bother me. That spot we were in, when I woke up in the middle of the night, my mattress had slid. It was like eight inches from the wall, and... Eight inches slid down from the head wall um, because we were kind of um, and normally you know a little bit doesn't bother me but that was a little bit too much move that one I'm just letting him check the place out you want to go walk come here I interrupted our walk didn't I come here so I'm going to take him around a little more and then we'll come back here and get settled. There are bathrooms here, a pit toilet. Okay, come on, let's keep going. I think today I'm thinking about going into town to find a shower. I didn't fill my shower tank, so I can't set up my shower. That's a big rock. This dog is going apeshit on me. <laughs> I just had to sit down here on these rocks just to take a little breather because he just dragged me up this 
I don't know, something about rocks. He loves rock climbing. He barreled up this wall of rocks over here and dragged me behind him. He is so pumped up. Hey, we're going this way. Come on. Man, something about, um, I don't know if you can relate to what I'm gonna say here. Looking up at the rocks, I get this dizzy feeling. It's really strange. Like my, my brain and my eyes have a hard time putting it together. And so I look up and I get this little woozy feeling for a split second. Come here. Really strange. I've always been like that. Well, I shouldn't say always since we've started coming to places where we get to stare up at big rocks. <laughs> well, look at this. Now, there's the one over there that he shuffled up yesterday. Come here. Come here. He just loves climbing rocks. Look at this dog. just bonkers this is pretty picturesque right here that looks like uh, you know like a postcard right look at that come here come here I don't want to go up there that's the campground let's go this way No, we're not going that way, buddy. I think I see a camper way down there. There's definitely a campground right over there, and I believe it's called Elephant Rock. I was looking at it on the map yesterday because I was figuring out how we can take a walk down there to the river. Okay. All right, I'm coming. He wanted to come this way. This kind of rock to me, and I am not a rock person, this looks like it's a whole bunch of pieces stuck together. You know, like if you had a bunch of little clay balls and they all stuck together. And you can see how pieces have fallen, like, like right there. Like that was a rock chunk stuck in there and it fell. I think that's it laying right there. And then there's another big section right there that fell out. So if any of you, and I'm sure there's someone out there that knows more about rocks than I do, what, what kind of uh, rock is this called? but it's definitely a bunch of pieces that were stuck together to form a larger piece. And, and there's, it's, it's pretty much all like that around here. Dude, oh, come on. How am I supposed to get under that? You stay right there, lefty. Such a good boy, thank you. Thank you for being a good boy. Yeah, so all of these rock features around here all are pretty much the same stuff, just these clumps. 
and they're not stuck together like really well either because they fall apart and that's where you get all these these rock fields down here This is the town of Buena Vista, Colorado. It's a really nice little town. We've been through here before. There's a nice um, park right in town that we spent some time at. A couple of times we went there and relaxed and watched some people do some fishing. I want to look and see if there's anywhere I can get a shower. I, I know up in Leadville there's a, a shower place at the laundromat and there also used to be you could go to the town, it was like a swimming pool, in, in, in uh, nope, 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 nope. There was an indoor swimming pool, like recreation building, and they had showers that you could go there. Nope. And uh, take a shower for a fee, but I think that has been discontinued um, after COVID. I don't think they restarted it. All right. Come on. This way, buddy. What, you want to go the other way? Which way you want to go? You want to go this way? Stop! Lefty! Okay, okay. Okay, that's enough. Okay. Yeah, some of you in the comments also mentioned about rattlesnakes, and I am always... You know, I try not to let that overtake my thoughts because it can make me not go places. Um in fear of there being a rattlesnake. Now I know rattlesnakes require a certain temperature and what I read a couple years back was it has to be a 60 degree temperature um, you know t for 24 hours like it has to be 60 degrees or warmer day and night for the snakes to be active and it's nowhere near that here, you know. It's down in the 40s at night here. And this is, we're at like 8,400 feet elevation. You know, obviously there could be a snake here. And some of you mentioned, you know, rattlesnake laying on the rocks, sunning themselves, and here's all these rocks. And I don't disagree, but uh, again, I don't, I don't wanna make it. Oh my gosh, there goes a rabbit. There's a bunny. There's a bunny. Oh my goodness. You smell it? Oh. Where'd that bunny go? Oh. So I, I'm aware of the snakes and I, you know, Lefty has not been trained uh, to avoid them. I've shown him carcasses and, you know, given him the, the speech that he's not supposed to go near them, just like the cactuses. Um, and he's, he's good on the cactuses. He definitely, he will jump, move right around them. He's very keen on them. Uh, so I, we've just never come across one alive. You know, this is five years we've been out and definitely in a lot of areas where there would be snakes and we've never seen a live one. Um, we've only seen ones that have been dispatched. Whoa, easy there, buddy. Whoa, 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 hold on. I gotta either let go of your leash, left, this way. Don't go straight. Oh my God. He's got to go straight down there. Look at this. Well, you guys can't tell, but that's about a 75 degree angle right there. And he just had to go straight down it. <laughs> you know, we could make our way down and keep jumbling down through these rocks and get down to the 
the bottom of this area. But I don't know what we're going to find. I do have my correct footwear on. Oh, speaking of, if you all recall back when we got to New York, that mom had picked me up a new pair of Merrill um, hiking shoes because my old ones had just worn out. You know, they'd been two years of constant everyday use and they were just wearing out and falling apart. So she got me a new pair. And if you remember, you probably don't, but they were blue. They had a blue uh, highlight to them, like blue laces and little blue colors on them. Well, I started wearing them. I really liked them. And suddenly noticed that my right foot had really bad pain in the, I don't know what you call it, but you know the, the bulge you have? I'm trying to point here, but my fingers. The bulge you have right here? Well, on this foot, it became really painful and inflamed. And it took me a minute to put together what was causing it. And I thought, well, maybe it's got to be these new shoes. So I, I switched back to my sneakers for several days and the pain subsided. So I went and told Ma the bad news that those shoes were causing me discomfort. So she went and found, these are the exact same model as the ones I had for two years, just in a different color. Mine were yellow, these are orange. Um, because the blue ones were a different model of Merrell's. And they were a little bit, like, thicker. Um, so she got me these. I believe she's... I think she tried to return the blue ones. Um, I don't know if she had success on that. If not, she was going to donate them to the church um, for their rummage sale. But these are comfortable like my, my yellow ones were. Uh, Merrill. So if any of you were paying attention and you notice that I'm orange now instead of blue, see Lefty's noticing, that's why I had a failure with the blue ones. Now, let's back up. I'm not comfortable up here. Come on, come on, this way. Okay, this way. Come on. Come on, left. Hey, hey, come on, up here. That, that makes me, gives me kind of this dizzy feeling in my head. I don't know what it is. It's gotta be something with heights you know we were right up past that tree about five five or probably ten feet from the edge and it just makes me feel i don't know <laughs> not a hundred percent so i backed us out of there and he's of course pulling me towards the edge but uh you know i'm one hand in it with him one hand on the phone it makes it really difficult so i gotta a momentary flash of feeling unstable so I turned us around and came backwards but that is a that is a cliff edge right there rock face zowie <laughs> I don't know the old brain didn't like that one <laughs> yeah we're down in uh, 
we're down in a rock cut right here. Hey, left. Okay. You've left your mark. Let's go now. That's like um, people that do graffiti. That was his graffiti. He just tagged the place. Come on. And of course, we found a pile of dog feces up there. Now, I was talking with a guy I met um, yesterday, and he said that he was talking with one of the rangers, and um, the guy said, he asked him, he said, you know, anything anecdotal you can tell me about the area, because he was in a new camp area, and the, the guy said, I'll just please be sure you clean up all of your dog um, waste, because they had an incident where they lost a good portion of a wolf um, pack from dog excrement that was left and the wolves, you know, ate it or whatever and it killed a bunch of them. So they're, they're really asking people to 100% clean up after the dogs which is, you know, I just wish everyone would do that. Especially like that that there. That was a a pretty rough little climb to get to that, that area and you find a pile of dog crap, you know. That's the end of my rant. <laughs> Leading the way. to the road come on buddy we got to go back this way come on left left lefty come on buddy hey come on come on that's a good boy he is so mad at me he wants to keep going that way why because the truck is that way. So he wants to go that way. I don't blame him. I really don't. Hey, puppy. Left. What you doing? Come on, pup. Let's go this way. There you go. What a good boy. Okay, I'm just talking to the folks. I'm keeping my uh, exertion. I'm working into it. Each day we go for a longer and longer walk. Because we are at like 8,400 feet elevation. And, you know, I was raised in under a thousand foot. I think Rochester is 700 foot above sea level. So this is, you know, not normal for me or him. And I can feel it, you know, when I, when we're hiking, I have to stop and take some breaths, but it's getting better. And I don't know if he feels it. I'm sure there must be some kind of effect on him also. He doesn't act like it, but because he probably doesn't know why he's feeling different. Go back and get some water. I didn't bring water with me. See, they have places like this that they've blocked off. It's a designated campsite. You know, you can park here and then tent camp over there. But there's other areas where it'll say, you know, no camping. And what they do is they rotate campsites. I'm, I'm pretty sure the host for the campground was out the other day marking areas. And um, a friend of mine that I met here, he was talking with the, the host. And sure enough, he's marking where they're going to make future sites and... 
I would guess that they then block off the ones that are being used now so that the vegetation can grow back and so that you're not really hammering on that area constantly. And that makes sense, you know. Have 15 campsites and then swap to 15 different ones and close the original 15 off. That makes sense to me. I know some of you in the comments, actually one of you is a camp host um, in the area here. And if, if I'm right in that assumption that they rotate campsites, let me know down in the comments. I would like to know that. I think that's what they do. It was funny, we were walking up on this side of the road yesterday. I found a really nice dirt bike trail. But then I would find an area you could see where somebody had a little fire. So people are, you know, going up in the woods here and popping a tent and making a campsite. And, oh, interesting. It says no motor vehicles, but there's definitely an active dirt bike trail right down there. Interesting. Huh. I don't want to break the rules, but more so, I don't want to destroy, you know, this, there could be the section of land that's being protected for some reason that I'm not aware of, and I'm fine with that. There's plenty of authorized, designated trails out here, so it's not like you gotta go find a bootleg one and ride where you're not supposed to. Hey, this way. Come on. Come on. Come on, puppy. All right, we're going to go back here and get some breakfast, some water, and see if I can find a shower in town. So if you, uh, if you noticed in the next video after this one that I look a little bit cleaner, you'll know that I was successful. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for being here. Everyone take care, be safe. We'll see y'all again really soon. Change my clothes. Run, run. Run, run. I don't run, 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 run. Hey, English. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Run, run. Run. Hold on. Run, run. Run. Thank you. <laughs> nice kisses. Come here. Come here. What the heck are you doing? Dog! Hey, 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 hey. Come here. Kisses. Okay, okay. Hey, hey, hey. Easy. You're gonna hurt yourself. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Excuse me. What? What are you talking about? Hmm? Are you comfortable? You got your big bed, your two blankets. You're such a spoiled dog. So spoiled. Hmm. Such a spoiled dog.
brother. What the heck are you doing? Huh? I hope the neighbors are awake. Because they are now. You been nipping in the liquor again? Huh? Dude.